Yo guys, so today I'm going to show you how to EQ reverb so that you can get depth in a recording, much like professional producers and producers that get songs on the radio, uh, how they do it. So uh, here's the song that we're going to be working with today. So, uh, sounds cool. Uh, I like it. Um, here's the channel strip that we have. You can get this channel strip actually for free on vocalpresets.com. It's called Big Drip, B-I-G-D-R-I-P. Um, so the first thing that we want to do, we want to get more depth in this recording, in the vocal. Um, so we got some reverb on the actual uh, channel strip itself, but we want to add some more just kind of texture to it. So uh, what we want to do is we want to set up bus, so ascend, add bus channel, dealing with the one over here. Uh, let's add a little reverb to it. I'm going to use this open air, and uh, let's add some EQ to it as well. So uh, put the EQ after the reverb. So uh, let's hear what it sounds like. So let's start with that. Um, basically, um, collapse this. Okay, so um, we just want something with a little bit more tail to it, um, and we want the mix up all the way so that when we bring it in the bus, um, we can kind of adjust it through here. Um, so yeah, these are the settings that we're gonna use. We're gonna use this BB Slaps preset. Make sure the mix knob is up all the way, and then we're gonna open up the EQ. So what we want to do is we want to chop off the lows so that it's not, uh, I guess, creating rumble. And we also want to chop some of the highs. So in chopping off the highs, we're just going to make it so the high end isn't confusing and conflicting with the original reverb. Um, and so we're basically creating a low cut filter and a high cut filter. So let's do that right now. So now the reverb is sitting very much in the center um, and it's just going to give it more central space. Uh, we don't want it hitting any low end. Uh, that's why we're cutting it out over in this region because then it's going to conflict with your bass. And uh, when you turn it up really loud in the car, it's going to get confusing. And then we don't want it in this end because uh, it's going to conflict with the highs of your vocal. Um, so this is the space that we're looking to create. So listening back, um, you may notice that uh, there's still some like uh, rumbly, um, kind of like low endy kind of sounds. Uh, we're going to cut that out right now. So uh, yeah, this is it. It's very uh, surgical. Um, so with a reverb that you're just trying to create some space on to kind of sit in the back, uh, that's really what you're gonna do because you do not want it conflicting with your uh, front end, I guess like uh, main vocal at all. Uh, you want this really sitting in the back and creating space. So uh, this might look like it's overdone a little bit, but it's not. Um, some people, like I remember seeing an interview where Axwell from Swedish House Mafia uh, from like years ago, he talked about uh, sitting there and EQing reverbs for like hours. So uh, this is basically what we're doing. Um, we're just cutting it out and making it sit in spaces uh, that need more space. 
uh, we don't want it to conflict with anything else. So cut the lows, cut the highs, and then cut right here. Right here is the nasal region. So uh, it's like, I'll unmute it so you can hear it, but uh, it's you can kind of describe it as kind of the nasally sound that a vocal will uh, project. So let's hear it on and off. So as you can hear, taking that region out uh, helps the vocal bounce a little bit more. So I highly suggest uh, taking the nasal region out of uh, your reverbs when you're creating more space. Uh, so let's listen to the whole thing on and off, bypassed and unbypassed. So as you can hear, it's got a little bit more space to it, a lot more depth, and you could do this with multiple reverbs. You could do it with multiple sends and buses uh, and just EQ them all and have a couple of them go on at the same time. And then you can create this whole unique space that's unique to your song. So um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you guys soon.